How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi Battle. Today we're in about versus Scorpion in the overused tier. Go check out Scorpion's channel. There's a link in the description down below. Really good content, really great battler. And stick around to the end for a bonus battle. With that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Scorpion. So they're going to lead off with Iron Jugulus as we lead off with our Torkoal. Now, I know Torkoal can take an Earth Power from this thing, at least one. Um, so I am going to go stay in and go for the Stealth Rocks because it looks like unless the Hydra, um, the Horlucha is a, a Hazard Clearer, we should be alright to go for the Stealth Rock. But first, if you want to see more high quality daily Pokemon Wife Bells like this one, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Let's go for a Stealth Rocks real quick like so. So they go for a... Oh wow, I was not expecting the Power Herb Meteor Beam. It is going to be Power Herb, isn't it? It's going to be Power Herb, isn't it? It is Power Herb. Oh no. This is going to take out... Torkoal in one shot in it. It does. So Torkoal does not get the Stealth Rocks up. We did not expect the Iron Jugglers to come through like that. That is a shame and a half right there. So what do we do here? Um, if we assume we could go into a Raquinid and go for a Miracoat maybe. No, because they're a Dark type. Never mind, Jack. Jack, you're an idiot. Um, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Do we go into our good old Roaring Moon? We could go for an Outrage, um, but that brings in the Iron Valiant pretty easily. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into the... Uh, I'm going to have to go into the Iron Boulder or, the, or you. Um, let's go Victory Bell. Let's go into Victory Bell real quick. Victory Bell can definitely take a hit. They're probably expecting a Terror from us, um, which I might do. I might just Terror so I can get the Weather Ball off. Weather Ball does hit pretty much everything on their team as well, which is great. Uh, Terrify is not a bad Terror to have. So I think I will go for the Terrify Weather Ball. Um, they do stay in, which is great. So we're going to go for that Terrify Weather Ball. And hopefully Victory Bell can get a KO here with Weather Ball. It is base 100 when it's boosted by the Weathers. Um, I know it says it's base 50 in the actual game, but it's, it's base 50 with no Weather, base 100 with Weather. So we'll go for the Terrifier Weather Ball like so. There we go, Weather Ball comes through. And that's going to do a solid amount of damage to the Iron Jugulus. It might take it out, I'm hoping it does take it out. As it does cleanly take it out, which is amazing. So Iron Jugulus comes down and out. Which is great for us. They took one of our Pokemon. We take one of theirs. No problems there. In comes the Raging Bolt. This thing's probably going to be booster energy, right? But it gets the Protosynthesis from the Sun anyway. Which is going to boost its special attack even further. And now we can't stay in. We just definitely can't stay in. Because they're going to go for a Thunderclap or something. Um, but what's our switch in? What is our switch in? I don't really see a switch in. So I might have to go for a Sludge Bomb here. They could go for a Thunderclap. But I want to go for a Sludge Bomb anyway. Um, so let's go for it. And um, we do go for Sludge Run, they don't Thunderclap, which is great. We get a nice clean 50% of damage onto them. And um, they lose some HP. They go for a Dragon Pulse, which is definitely going to KO Victory Bell. No problems there. As down it goes. So Victory Bell does go down to a Dragon Pulse. But it did a lot of damage to the Raging Bolt, which is important. And um, so now I'm looking at this squad and I'm thinking, you know what we can do? We can go a Rack and a Magic Coat, the Mirror Coat, this thing. They haven't got a Dark type anymore. And they probably Volt Switch on the Iraq Winnet as well. So I am going to bring the Araquinid in real quick. There we go. Bubbles comes through. Now, they may switch out. They may switch out here, but I think their best Pokemon to deal with this is um, pretty much gone. So let's go for a Mirror Coat just in case they Volt Switch. They withdraw straight up. They don't want to get that Mirror Coat, which is fair enough. They withdraw. Um, and they're going to go into Pink Urchin, which is going to get the Electric Terrain up, which is always nice for them. Electric Surge comes through like so. And then all we do is, now that we've gone for the Miracle, we can go for a Sticky Webs, which is going to be really useful for the Iron Valiant and the uh, Iron Crown. So I'm going to go for that Sticky Webs first and foremost. So we go for a Sticky Web, we're going to get them up on their side of the field. It's going to be really helpful for the Iron Crown and the uh, Iron Valiant. They go for a Scold, which ain't going to do no damage, but it might burn us. It doesn't burn us, which is great. Um, so what I might do is Leech Life. So I'm going to go for the Leech Life now. There we go, Leech Life comes through. No damage, but we're recovering more than they can do with Scald at least. And if Scald's their only attacking move, then we're golden. Um, so let's see what happens. They go for a Spikes. So we can keep our Focus Sash in check. But the Spikes, um, we don't actually have a Hazard Clearer anymore because Torkoal got, get, went down. So um, if we assume they're going to go for another layer of Spikes here, we should go Magmortar and fire off a Fire Blast. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Magmortar like so. And while we've still got the Sun, I may as well go for a Fire Blast. So boom, stick comes in real quick. Nice and shiny, gotta love it. You get some spikes damage, which is unfortunate. And then they go ahead and withdraw Pinkurchin. But the thing is, Magmortal does really well against their entire team, to be honest with you. So Horlucha comes in, which is interesting. So they made the switch into Horlucha. 
Now, they're going to get the Electric Seed, which is going to boost their, what, Special Defense? Defense. So let's go for a... I want to go for a Thunderbolt, but I really want to go for a Sun Boosted Fire Blast. I think it's, it's probably going to be the best one to go for. There's no way they have Stone Edge, right? They go for a Close Combat. That's going to definitely do a lot of damage. Takes us out cleanly. Magmortar is frailer than I thought. We get the Flame Body, though, which is great on the Hall Lucha. Flame Body is really clutch. Like, normally I'd run Vile Spirit, but because Sleep's banned in Smogon anyways, there's no point in running Vile Spirit anymore. Um, so anyway, the Harsh Sunlight does fade. And the Hall Lucha is burned. So that thing is no longer a threat. It does outspeed our entire team, but it's not a threat. That's, just, that's for sure. So now what do we do? I'm leaning towards the Iron Boulder. That's a nice boulder. Leaning towards that. I think I will go the Iron Boulder play. So we're going to Nice Boulder. We're going to get that Quark Drive from the um, Electric Terrain. So we won't pass for our Booster Energy just yet. Like so. And then we'll go straight for a Source Dance. There's no reason not to go for a Source Dance here. So they go for a Source Dance of their own. They do outspeed us. They're trying to get as much damage off as possible on us. Which makes a lot of sense. We go for a Source Dance too. We do unfortunately don't outspeed. We do unfortunately don't outspeed. Yeah, that makes sense, Jack. But they are burned still, so we can still get some... Um, we can still take a hit, no problem. So let's go for a Mighty Cleave. Like so. They go for an Encore. Really? They're Encore? That's annoying. There we go. We go for another Swords Dance. That's very annoying. So, with that in mind, what do we do here? Because they're at plus whatever they are. They're probably going to go for another Swords Dance here. We still have our Quark Drive in, uh, Booster Energy intact because of the Electric Terrain. I suppose we could go for a Liquidation. I think I will go into a Raquinid. Um, and if a Raquinid fails us here and can't take an Acrobatics, even though they're burned, they're probably going to get another Swords Dance up here. Though, that's the thing. Probably going to get another Swords Dance up. They go for the Swords Dance, which is fine. So Swords Dance Horlucha could make a really good comeback, even when it's burned. Um, which is not going to be good for us at all. Definitely not good for us at all. The electricity does disappear though, so that means we get the booster energy next time we go into Iron Boulder. Let's go for a liquidation and hope and pray that we can live this acrobatics, but I don't think we do. No, we do not. No, we do not. So, Araquinid does go down. I'm not bothered about balls going down. It stopped them from swords dancing and stuff. Um, so, it really all comes down to Iron Boulder here. And um, They already went for the close combat, so they have a drop defense. So, we can go in straight into Iron Boulder here. We can definitely take a hit, no problem. And um, I just, I really need to get rid of the Iron, if I can get rid of the Iron Valiance, then, um, you know, uh, what do you call it, it comes through. Uh, I, I'm, the Roaring Moon comes through. So let's go for a Mighty Cleave first and foremost. So this combat comes through, what's going to do is some nice damage. It still KOs, even though it's burned. I mean, it's a plus, what is it? It has two Swords Dancers, so the whole Lutra is making an epic comeback here. We can't Terra. And I think that's going to be the game. I don't know, though. Um, let's see how, how this plays out. So let's go into our banded Roaring Moon, like so. And I think the only way we can get around this is by going for a Outrage. Even if that does stop us from getting... You know what? I'm just going to go for the Outrage. We've lost anyway. They're going to Terra. They're going to Terra. What type are they Terroring into, though? That's the real question. That is the real question. They're going to tear into a ground type, which is interesting. Stops them from getting hit by electric moves, that's for sure. So ground comes through. They go for the close combat. Roaring Moon cannot take that. No way. And that's going to be the game. So we got reverse swept by... Not reverse swept. We got swept by a whole Lucha, which is always fun. Um, but very good game, Scorpion. That was a pretty fun one. You definitely did really well there. It's time for a bonus battle. Today, we're having a bonus battle versus Simon the Ghost from the Discord server in the OU tier. Once again, let me know who you think is going to win based on the team you see on screen right now. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck. Have fun, Simon. So they're going to lead off with a Raquinid, as I expected, as I lead off with my Roaring Moon. Now, the reason I live with more Roaring Moon is quite simple. They're probably focused Sash with uh, Sticky Webs. So I'm going to go for a U-turn and break the Sash. And the reason I won't let with Roaring Moon is because it outspeeds pretty much the whole team. Um, so that's pretty awesome. So they're going to withdraw the Araquanid. They don't want us to set up Dragon Lances or Terra Steel or anything like that. They're going to go into Corviknight. They can't set up the Sticky Webs just yet. Corviknight comes in. Massive. Absolutely massive that Corviknight is. We go for a U-turn. No damage, of course. But we're probably going to get some Rocky Helmet Chip. As um, we don't, unfortunately. So that's great. Um, no Rocky Helmet Chip is awesome. So now we can freely go into Magmortar, which is what I'm going to do. And Magmortar hits everything on the team pretty hard with Fire Blast, except from the Iron Moth. 
Um, so let's go ahead and go for that. And um, they definitely switch out here or they Terra. One of the two. They have to switch into either a Raquinid or Iron Moth. So I want to go for a T-Bolt. So I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt. They withdraw the Corviknight. Are they going to go into the Iron Moth or the um, Araquanid? Araquanid comes in, which is great. So we get a nice Thunderbolt off on that. It's Choice Specs boosted. Thunderbolt comes through. Magmortar popping off, which is great. Love to see it. And this means we're going to get Sticky Webs on our side of the field as well. Because in, if unless they let the Araquanid go down, which they might do, they probably go into Iron Treads. So I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt anyway. So they withdraw the Araquanid. They probably realize we're specced by the damage output of the Thunderbolts. And they go into the Iron Treads, which is a very good switch. So Iron Treads is here. Is it Booster Energy? No, it's Air Balloon. We go for a Thunderbolt, and that's going to definitely fail, which is unfortunate. But Magmortar put in the work for a little bit there, which is cool. Uh, good to see, good to see. So now do we go into our Araquanid. I think I go into Araquanid for sure. We withdraw our Magmortar into the Araquanid, which is going to be able to definitely take an Earthquake from this thing, no problem. Um, a Volt Switch as well, and also an Iron Head, no problem. They probably go for a Stealth Rocks anyway, though, if they have got Stealth Rocks. They go for the Knock Off, knocking off our Focus Sash, so that's fine, um, I guess. We can go for a Liquidation now. Liquidation actually hits everything on their team pretty hard. So they probably expect to have a Sticky Webs, and they may go for a Rapid Spin, but I don't think they'll go for a Rapid Spin yet. I'm going to go for the Liquidation, let's just say that. So they withdraw the Iron Treads. What are they going to go into to take a Liquidation? Though that's the real question. They're going to go into Corviknight. So let's see what how much damage this does to Corviknight. It's not Rocky Helmet, so I don't have to worry about that. They are Leftovers, I believe. And um, we go for the Liquidation. And that does a clean 45%. That's pretty awesome, actually. So they are Leftovers, obviously. So that's going to get some health back. Um, but we could stay in and go for a Liquidation again. We could. Um, but I'm not going to. I'm going to preserve my Araquanid, and I'm going to go straight into the, um, I want to go into Magmortar, but they probably go for a U-turn, or a Brave Bird, Brave Bird probably. They probably go for the U-turn, to be honest with you, so I am leaning towards just going straight for another Liquidation, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for Liquidation. They do go for the U-turn as expected, no damage, which means we get a free Liquidation on something that isn't Corviknight, which is amazing. They probably bring in their own Araquanid here, or the Alola Ninetales. They went for the Araquanid switch, which is great. So Araquanid comes in. We get a Liquidation off, which should do a decent bit of chip. It nearly takes them out, which is great, actually. Um, as that is obviously going to pop their leftovers. I didn't realize they were leftovers as well. I thought they'd be Focus Ash. Um, no reason not to go for a Liquidation again. So there we go. We are speed. We go for a Liquidation. That's going to take out Araquanid, which is amazing. So Araquanid of our own is doing really well here. Really well. So let's see how this plays out, shall we? Nine Tails comes in. That thing is going to set up the Aurora Veil right now. It's going to get the snow up and it's going to try and set up the Aurora Veil. So we have to do the right thing, which is to go straight into Torkoal to get rid of the snow straight away. So we withdraw a Raquinid. Good old Bubbles. It's Bubbles, darling. Bubbles. We go into Smoky. There we go. Drought comes through. And there we go. They go for an Aurora Veil. It's not going to work, I'm afraid. It's not going to work. Um, this does mean, however, we get a free fire blast on whatever we want in the sun. So let's go ahead and assume. Do we go for a stealth rocks? I think we can go for a stealth rocks. So they withdraw the nine tails, which makes sense. And they're going to go into what exactly? The, the iron moth. So the iron moth comes in. That would have definitely taken a fire blast, no problem. Is it booster energy, though? It is booster energy, which is going to boost what exactly? What's it going to boost? speed okay that's fine um it outspeeds everything now we go for a stealth rocks which is definitely going to help us and they probably go for a sludge wave right now so in reality we should really switch out i think a has done its part now i think a is what we need to do we need to switch into a raconid like so and the sun is up so they might go for a fiery dance but i don't think they will because we could have earthquake on talk you know not that we do not that it's very common they do go for a sludge wave though, that's going to do a lot of damage. Doesn't actually get the KO, which is great. As a, I'm going to attempt to go for a liquidation. They do go for another uh, sludge wave though. I was hoping they go for a fiery dance. Because I think fiery dance wouldn't have KO because of the water bubble ability. But it's whatever. So Iron Moth takes out the Araquanid. And now we simply go into Victory Bell, I think. No, Victory Bell can't touch this thing. I think we go into Iron, Iron Boulder. I think Iron Boulder is the way to go. So let's do it. Let's go Iron Boulder real quick, like so. Iron Boulder could straight up win like from here as well, which is crazy. So um, the Quark Drive is going to activate, which is great. 
We are now outspeed the Iron Moth. And we go for a Mighty Cleave. There's no reason not to go for a Mighty Cleave right now. Mighty Cleave comes through. We do outspeed. Down goes the Iron Moth, which is amazing. So with Iron Moth out of the way, they can probably bring in the Corviknight right now. Corviknight can definitely take a Mighty Cleave, but can't really do anything to us in return. Iron Treads, on the other hand, can probably take a close combat. That's not Stab. So the question is, do we Terra? That's the real question. Do we go for a Mighty Cleave just to get rid of the uh, Air Balloon? I think we go for a close combat. Screw it. So we go for a close combat. It's not going to take out the Iron Treads, that's for sure. But it does break the Air Balloon, which is always going to be nice. Um, but it also gets damage off, and we don't really have a switch into Iron Treads right now. Um, so we'll, they, let's see what they do. They go for a Rapid Spin to get rid of those rocks, which is fine. That's going to boost their speed a bit further. Um, however, we can go for another close combat right now, and that is definitely going to take out the Iron Treads. We do outspeed because of the booster energy. Close combat comes through. Down goes the Iron Treads. So Iron Treads is out of the way. I'm, Iron Boulder. I'm surprised Iron Boulder is not OU still because it's really good. But I guess time will tell. Time will tell whether it rises or not because they do the tier shifts every three months now. So I think we've got another month to go. In comes the Ninetales. So Ninetales can definitely take an Iron Cleave with, that, uh, with the snow up. And um, so with it starting to snow... I'm going to have to switch out. I'm going to go into Torkoal. We do lose our booster energy, but we outspeed everything on the team anyway. So we withdraw Nice Boulder. And we go into Torkoal real quick, like so. Smokey comes in. There we are. Get that sun up. Stop the Aurora Veil, which is always nice. They go for a nasty plot. Oh, that's unfortunate. So they're an offensive. I love the Ninetales right now. Um, do I want the Fire Blast? Let's go for a Fire Blast. There's no reason not to go for a Fire Blast right now. So they go for a Baton Pass. <laughs> Brother didn't get the message that Baton Pass is banned in OU. I mean, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Um, the Comfey is probably the one that's going to come in and get that, though. The Comfey does come in. So we're still going to hit it with a nice and powerful Fire Blast, which is great and all. And that's going to do a decent bit of damage. There we go. That's good damage right there. Let's go for another Fire Blast. So they're going to Terrastalize. What type are they going into, though? Are they going to go Water or Fire, maybe? Water might be a good one. Fire. Okay, so fire is what they've gone into. They're going to be able to heal themselves with um, Synthesis or something. Or they go for a Draining Kiss, one of the two. Um, as there we go. They go for a Calm Mind. That's very scary right now. That is very scary. So they are at plus three attack, plus one special defense. They definitely take this Fire Blast, that's for sure. There we go. Taken like a champ. So now we have to go for a body press. We definitely go for a body press because that's definitely going to KO the Comfy from there. As long as they don't have a healing move other than Draining Kiss, we should be all right. So they go for the Draining Kiss. Does a lot of damage, but not too much. As that's going to recover a good amount of HP for them. So let's go for the body press. They do lose some power because they are Life Orb. We go for a body press and that nearly takes out the Comfy, which is amazing. So let's go for another body press. There's no reason not to. Stored power. That's going to definitely take out Torkoal. There we go. Torkoal goes down. Um, so Torkoal did good. It got the sun up. It did some damage to the Confei. Nearly taken it out. They go down to the Life Orb now, which is amazing. As now we just have Ninetales and Corviknight to take care of. And I think Magmortar is the Pokemon for the job. I really think the Magmortar is the Pokemon for the job. So I'm going to go into it. Magmortar real quick. It can take out the Ninetales with a Fire Blast. It can take out the uh, Corviknight with a uh, Fire Blast as well. So I'm assuming they only have one attack move because they have Baton Pass, Nasty Plot, Aurora Veil, and then they must have like Blizzard or something. Um, so they get the Snow Warning. Oh, the Moon Blast is probably better coverage, I think. I don't know, actually. Let's go for a Fire Blast anyway, and let's find out. Aurora Veil comes through. Last ditch effort to try and take these Fire Blasts, but I still think Fire Blast KOs if we can connect. We do connect, which is great. And that's a clean, nearly a KO right there. Amazing. Magmortar through the Aurora Veil doesn't, still doesn't care. So they go for a freeze dry. No damage. We go for a fire blast. We connect. Alone in the Ninetales goes down, which is fantastic. So Magmortar does pull through in the end. So it took out, it nearly took out the Araquanid with the Thunderbolt. And it took out the, uh, what was it called? The Alone in Ninetales. Now it's the Corviknight that comes in. Can we connect this last fire blast? That's all we need to do. Connect a fire blast. So Fire Blast comes through, and down goes the Corviknight. There we go. So Corviknight does go down, which is great. Um, and that is going to be a GG right there to Simon the Ghost. So GG, Simon the Ghost. That was a really fun one. 
Uh, really happy with how that turned out with Magmortar, but unfortunately for Magmortar, it's not his day as Halucha is definitely in the thumbnail from that first game. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all the wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.